the nail-biting drama of the 2024 UEFA European Championship continues and a meeting here to determine which country will make it through to the final. Don't move a muscle, stay with us on EA TV. Hello and welcome to our coverage of the semi-final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me with microphone in hand is Stuart Robson. Excitement levels are off the charts, it must be said. It's Spain versus Germany. Well, semi-finals can be very nervous affairs, Derek, but this has the making of an absolute classic. Two excellent teams, some great players and two thoughtful coaches. This should be a very interesting tactical battle, I think. Good looking cross. Well cleared away. Here's the lineup for Spain. Fabian plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. And he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Jonathan Tarr plays with Antonio Rüdiger in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, they have a real ace up their sleeve in Pedri. Interested to know what you think he might produce today. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Very quick thinking there. That's useful play. The fans want to see a shot. What a commitment to defending. Who can he pick out? Fabian? Well, couldn't quite hit the target. Close, though. Well, had it been on target, I think the goalkeeper had that one covered. Germany unable to hang on to the ball. Getting forward. Fabian. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Wasteful again in possession. Morata. Crossing possibilities. Wirtz. Promising move from Germany. Havertz must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Decisive in the tackle. And the throw in here. Tony Kroos did well to win the ball back. Morata gives it a go. A oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Manuel Neuer. It's with Gundogan. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Havertz. Havertz. Just the challenge that was required. Andri. Gundogan. Here's Havertz. A gift for any goalkeeper. Carvajal. And back with Unai Simon. Kukureya. 
So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in the... So back in business here, the ball is moving again, and it's advantage Germany after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. A move of promise on the flank. Can he get the level? Well, the goal was at his mercy. Well, it certainly was. He has to score there. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Running with the ball confidently. It has to be. There's still danger here. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. Perfect tackle. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. It comes to nothing in the end. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. All hands on deck. Can he put it away? Couldn't quite hang on. And they will make the change now. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Did his job defensively. Rudiger. Now Kimi. Wonderful chance. Ball is loose. What a decisive punch by the keeper. Well, I don't think they've been at it today. But maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Moving forward effectively. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Substitution, then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, possibilities in the centre. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Corner it is, as Germany pushed to add to their lead here. Across from Zane. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Germany have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes, as you can see, and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. Yeah, it's really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Now, maybe room here for the counter-attack. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Sané. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Might work out. Well, on a good day, that might have gone in for the equaliser. Yeah, I agree. That was half a chance, I would say. But they still trail here. Emre Can. Committed challenge. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. He's in here. Oh, it's in! Can you believe it? Back on level terms, and the dream of making the final is very much alive again. Incredible! Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Leroy Zane. Emre Can loses out. This could be troublesome.
see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And that's the perfect strike from Morata. He just hits it with so much control. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ta. Andri. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And the cross smuggled away. Not out of the woods yet. Well, no damage done. And full time here. Spain have done it. They've climbed the mountain. And they will participate in the final itself here at the European Championship. Well, what a tense game that was. They really did have to dig deep to come out on top. But they showed a lot of determination and character today. And they'll need all those qualities in what should be a great final. Well, Morata served his team well in typical fashion, we must add. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really...